Turning now to the pandemic and as COVID cases are on the rise in the Carolinas, we are now learning more about the toll the virus is having on our kids. WCNC Charlotte Sarah French has more on a new study. Multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or MISC as it's commonly called, is a rare but potentially life-threatening condition. It can affect different parts of the body like the heart, lungs, and brain. Now, new research has found a possible genetic cause for why some children who've had COVID-19 infection also develop MISC. The exciting thing about this study is it's really the first indication of a genetic cause for Miss C, and that gives rise to, it opens doors. It gives rise to uh, mechanistic studies. So how did these mutations result in Miss C? And can that be used in the future, for instance, in, in better diagnostics? Dr. Robert Silverman with Cleveland Clinic has been studying antiviral genes for decades and took part in the MISC research involving mutations of these same genes. He says the team looked at DNA sequencing data from children who had COVID-19 and MISC along with children who only had COVID-19. From there, they were able to identify a potential underlying genetic cause in a small number of cases. Dr. Silverman says their research is still far from over, and they're hopeful about how these findings can help with other infections. Another possibility, uh, a possible uh, uh, advantage of the study is that it, it could lead to, it could lead to uh, breakthroughs or discoveries about other chronic uh, viral infections and inflammation in particular. The average age of patients with MISC is about nine years old. The symptoms vary. However, they mainly include a persistent fever, rash, red eyes, fatigue, abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. Concerned parents should contact their pediatrician. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm Sarah French.